I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before I get going, hit my like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget that I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And you can also catch me live every Sunday morning with the Sangin' OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Time. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos to help support the channel. If you want to debate, hit me up, knockoutboxing86.yahoo.com. Let's get to it. Fight prediction. Raymond Murray, Tyler versus Diego Torres, Nunez. 10 round, 135-pound fight. Somebody, oh, got to go. Two undefeated fighters, two knockout artists. Somebody, oh, got to go. Raymond Murray Tyler, 26 years old, Orthodox fighter, 5 foot 8 out of California, 18 wins, no losses, 15 wins by way of knockout. Coming off a huge knockout victory over Jeremiah Nakathila. Then you got Diego Torres Nunez, 25 years old, out of Mexico, Orthodox fighter, 17 wins, no losses, 16 wins by way of knockout. Look, bro, I like this fight. I like this fight. Nunez is a power puncher. But he like to sit like he ain't just no Mexican brawler coming for. He'll box you off the back foot. You know what I'm saying? And he looked to, he got long arms and shit. He looked to counter you and shit. Like, hey, he walk you into a shot, put that, plant that, what? Fire off on your ass, bro. But he, he, he like to box off his back foot. He'll let you walk in the shit. And he, and he a power puncher. And he'll let them hands go and come. He's like a counter puncher, boxer type. Like, like, it's just, but. He ain't fast with his feet. You can tell that his stance is still kind of wide where he got to have him planted and sit down to throw. But he look, he'll, he'll circle the ring on your head, you let you do your thing, and then he'll work his jab. And then, bro, he coming with that right hand behind it. You get too close, he feel like you in range. He letting them hands go. And he done had power so far in his career. Raymond Murray Tyler, versatile as hell. Outside, box you. Nice little stiff power jab, jumping in with the jab. Distance control, fast feet, different angles, fight you on the inside. You know what I'm saying? We'll take his time to figure you out while breaking you down. Never forgets about the body. Raymond Murray Tyler, nasty. He nasty. He nasty. Diego Torres, New Year's path to victory. He got to knock Raymond Murray Tyler out, bro. I don't think that little shit he do, bro, that shit ain't going to work. Like with Raymond Murray Tyler, all that trying to set traps and trying to be all cute off your back foot. Raymond Murray Tyler know how to apply that pressure, be defensively responsible at the same time, and work you over while you're trying all that shit. And if you get into a war, you want to fight on the inside, he can do that shit too. But he got to not, he got to catch Raymond Murray Tyler on the end of his punch. I think he's a little bit longer than Raymond Murray Tyler. He got to catch him with some shit to change the fight and then hurt him and stop him. He cannot outbox Raymond Murray Tyler. Raymond Murray Tyler faints and ring IQ is just too good. And the way he set his shots up, place his shots, is just too nasty, bro. And his, and his confidence at an all-time high after what he just did to Jeremiah Nakathila. They was booing Shakur after he beat Jeremiah Nakathila. They was cheering for Raymond after he beat Jeremiah Nakathila. That was the difference in their performance. Murray Tyler nasty, bro. He nasty. As far as who I'm picking and why, man, I got Murray Tyler because he can win in multiple ways, bro. I think he can outbox and beat this dude up, Diego Torres, New Year, because he got power and shit, but you start looking and shit. I seen him go the distance on with somebody on the zone. It was on the Munguia car where old buddy, old buddy took his shots just well, and that old buddy was a high-level fighter than what New Year's had been fighting. Like, New Year was not no disrespect, but he was knocking dudes out. In Mexico, there's dirt to get knocked out. There's like, that's their job. Like, they work like another job during the day. And then if they get a phone call to come get in the ring and get knocked out, that's what they going to do for some extra pesos, some extra money, maybe a cerveza or something. You feel me? Those are the type of dudes he been fighting. But when he finally fought like a full-time fighter who dedicated to that shit, old buddy was walking him down, taking his shots just fine, bro. So do you got power at the level that you need to stop somebody and hurt somebody and get somebody respect like Raymond Murray Tyler, that's a question. That's a question that I have. Whereas Raymond Murray Tyler, I know he got it. And he and he and, and I know that he can be smooth with it. Can go on the inside, give you different angles, come with a nice nasty power jab, set shit up off of that. 
come in off the body, counterpunch you if you overcommitting, overreaching shit. He just always, he always got an answer for a mother. You know what I'm saying? He being aggressive and shit. You think, okay, I'm going to throw something. And so he aggressive with the jab and shit, working you over. Then you throw something. He slip that shit and counter it. Or roll that shit and counter it. Like, damn, you was ready for that too. He always on... He on offense and defense at the same time, all the time, and that's the sign of a next level fighter, bro. When you on offense and defense, all at the same time. So while you being defensive, you always looking for your offense, and you can still you can still rip some shit on somebody. Or while you being offensive, you still being defensive. So you ready to catch some shit, you ready to slip some shit, you ready to roll some shit, and come right back. He always doing both, and then the feints. You know what I'm saying? This shit, man, he got it all, bro. I got Raymond Murray Tyler. I think he gonna put on another clip. I think he gonna stop this boy, man. I think he gonna come in off of the knock of Thela shit. Now I think they got him as the co-main on this one, too. Yeah, I think he gonna stop New Year. New Year, you getting stopped, bro. You getting stopped by Murray Tyler. And if not stopped, you getting outboxed thoroughly. But I think New Year's is going to see and find out, like, yeah, I'm undefeated, but that's a different type of undefeated. Yeah, I believe in myself, and I got good counterpunching ability, but that's a different type of counterpunching ability and a different kind of speed and a different kind of type of ring IQ. You're going to see the difference in levels. I got Raymond Murray Tyler stopped about round eight. Who y'all picking? Let me know in the comment section. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.